Good morning and welcome to the hills of Maplewood. All my friends, it is a delight to be with you on these mornings, to come together from these places that I come to on uh, these Friday mornings. So my friends, blessings as we come together this day. You may be wondering, where are you today, Alan? Well, I'm actually out in a very special place. I'm at the cemetery of uh, Maplewood Lutheran Church here in Maplewood. The reason I chose this place this morning was um, because this coming Sunday, we're going to celebrate All Saints Sunday. And I thought that it would be fitting to come to this holy ground. And I call it holy ground because it is in these places that those loved ones that have guided and directed our faith over so many years lay to rest and are now saints that we remember this Sunday. As I thought about that, I thought, wow, there are some grave markers here that, that uh, go date back way into the early 1900s. As these settlers came into the hills of Maplewood and began to make their livelihoods here, whether it be livestock or wood, uh, cutting wood and, and things like that, um, I just thought to myself, wow, how this church, this Maplewood church, was a focal point and a central point and a gathering place for those to come and to, to worship and to praise God in, in the blessings that he has bestowed upon them. And as they continue to do even to this day. But now we recognize those individuals, those saints, as uh, they lay to rest here in this special place. I have a text for you this morning that I want to share with you. It's coming from Ephesians, Ephesians 1, verses 15 through 19, and it reads like this. I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love towards all the saints, and for this reason I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you. What are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints? And what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe according to the working of his great power? Ephesians 1, 5 through 19. With our eyes of our hearts, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, which are the riches of his glorious inheritance among all the saints. All my friends, as we gather this Sunday in our special places of worship, let us not forget the saints that have gone on before us, those that have guided us and helped us in our own faith journeys, as we have come to this place to know of the inheritance of God, and that one day we will all join together at his feast. God's blessings, my friends, from the hills of Maplewood. Amen.
Sound of the saints as we march on design singing Alleluia.